Hey guys, my name is Atisha. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to set up MongoDB and connect it to our Node.js application. If you are not completely aware of what MongoDB is, you can refer to my notes given in the description. Also, if you have been liking the videos on this channel so far, do hit the subscribe button down below. So without any further delay, let's get started. But wait, there are three types of environments in which you can run MongoDB. MongoDB Atlas, MongoDB Enterprise and MongoDB Community. And for this video, we are going to use MongoDB Atlas. So I will search for MongoDB here and I will sign up for an account on MongoDB. So here I would click on try for free and here I will sign up with Google. You can also create an account for that. Okay, I will accept to the privacy policy and terms of service and click on submit. Okay, it will take some time to uh, set up. So that's fine. So yeah, we need to fill in some information in here. So it's asking for what is your primary goal? Maybe learn MongoDB, that's fine. How long have you been developing software with MongoDB? So if you're new, you can click on new to MongoDB. What programming language are you primarily building on MongoDB with? So we'll be using Node. I will write JavaScript slash Node.js. And what kind of data will your project use? We are not sure what type of data we are going to use. So I'll click on not sure or none. And will your application include any of the following architectural model? So I will write on not sure for this as well. And I will click on this finish. Okay, so here we can see that we have uh, options where we can deploy our database like M10, serverless, M0. So for now, we'll be deploying it on M0 as it is free. So I will choose this one and provider I will choose as AWS. And you can also choose the region based on where you are based out of. So we have multiple options. So I'll keep Mumbai as of now. That's fine. That's closer to me. And you can name your cluster as well. So we are going to create a data that will be based on the series that you see on Netflix. So I will write series cluster. And if you want to give any tags that you can give as well, and I will click on create. Okay, you can see that it is created. We need to pass in some information in here, like username, password, so uh, I will keep my username as Itisha Gurk and password for now, since this is just for testing purpose, I am showing my password in here. So let's say I will uh, keep the password as Itisha Gurk password. I would highly recommend you to not share this password with anyone and I'd click on create user. Now it's also asking that from which IP address we are going to connect to this database. If you want only uh, specific IP addresses to access this database. You can specify it here. Current IP address has already been added. And apart from that, I'm also going to add this IP address. So what this IP address says is I will accept the connection request from any IP address, be it whatever. Uh, this is just for testing purpose. And once we are done with our testing, uh, when you move to the production, I would highly recommend you to remove this IP address from here and I will add this entry as well just to avoid any errors that might come in and I will click on finish and close. Okay, I'll click on go to overview. So we can see that our MongoDB is set up. Now it's time to connect it to our Node.js application. So for that, I will click on this connect and you can click on this MongoDB for Visual Studio Code because we are going to use Visual Studio Code in here. In order to connect to our MongoDB deployment, we have to paste this connection string into our into the command palette. So our MongoDB Atlas setup is done. It's now time to connect it to our Node.js application. But before that, let's first understand how data gets stored in MongoDB. So in MongoDB, the data gets stored in a collection. Just like how we store the data in tables in SQL databases, we store the data in collection in a new SQL database like MongoDB. Within this collection, we have several documents wherein a document is nothing but an individual record. Now let's see what the process is. So first, we establish a connection to our MongoDB database. And then the next step, we define a schema. So defining a schema meaning we define a blueprint of the documents or the records that we are going to store in our collection. They will contain the information related to the objects that are going to get stored into the document. Like uh, what is the type? Does it need to be unique? Whether it is mandatory or not? And things like that, that we are going to see later. Then in step three, we will be using that schema to create a model. So model is nothing but a tool that helps us to interact with the data. MongoDB collections. And with this model only, we would be able to perform 
actions like create, read, update, and delete in order to make modifications to our document in the collection. And in this step, automatically our collection also gets created. Then in the last step, we create a document, which is nothing but an instance of the model that we have created in step three. And then moving ahead, we can perform other actions as well. So these are the steps that we will be following. So now let's jump onto the code. Since this video is the second part in the series wherein we are talking about Node.js and in the previous video, we created this Node.js application from scratch wherein we set up the server using Express. So we are going to use this project only in this video. If you haven't watched that video, I would highly recommend you to first go and watch that video in order to understand how to set up a backend project and set up the server. Now, as we have discussed already, the first step that we need to take in order to connect our Node.js application to MongoDB is to establish a connection. And whatever steps that are there, be it establishing a connection, uh, creating a schema, defining a model, etc. For that, we'll be using Mongo's. So first, we are going to go to our server folder and I will do an npm install Mongo's. And once this is installed, we would be able to see this in our package.json file. So yeah, it is there. Now for establishing the connection, we'll create, we'll create a separate file for it. So let me create a folder. Let's call it utils and I will create a db.js file inside it. Now the first thing inside it that we need to do is to import mongoose. So I will write const mongoose equal require mongoose. After this, I'm going to create a function for it. So I'll call it connect db and it's going to be an asynchronous function. And inside it, we are going to write a try catch statement. We are writing this try catch statement in order to catch any error if there are any uh, while establishing the connection. And in case of error, we'll log on the console, the error dot message. Now in the try statement, we'll be using the method called, called as mongoose.connect for connecting to our database. So I will write await mongoose.connect and inside this, we need to specify our MongoDB link or MongoDB Atlas link that we uh, generated when we were setting up MongoDB. So let's copy that from there. So this is the connection string that we require. So I'm going to copy this and paste it inside this. So this connection string needs to be kept as secret. So it's a good practice to keep this in your .env file rather than keeping it directly in your project files. Uh, but since we are just doing it for learning purposes, I have directly kept it here. Now, instead of this password, you need to put the password that you had created when we were setting up MongoDB. Since you know my password, so it was Itisha Garg password. Now, if it works perfectly fine, I am going to log on the console that MongoDB is connected. Also, we need to export this so that we are able to use it in our server.js file. So I'm going to export this particular function. Now let's go back to our server.js file and import this function that we have just created. So I will write const connect db and it is saved in our utils folder. So I will search for that. I'm going to call this function so that our database gets generated before we start working on our APIs. So we'll call this and save it. Now let's run our server and see if it is working fine. So I will write npm run dev and hit on enter. So you can see that here we are getting this message that MongoDB is connected and server started on port 8000. So we have been successfully able to establish the connection. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to define a schema and create a model. So for that, again, we are going to create a separate folder of, uh, for it. Let's call it models and we'll create a file called as series model dot JS. Since I have told already also that uh, we are going to create a collection of the TV series that are there on Netflix. So that's why I'm calling it series model. Now for uh, again, creating the model, we would require mongoose. We will first create the schema. So let's call it series schema and I will use mongoose dot schema method. And inside it, we need to specify what all properties are going to be there of the documents or the records that are going to be there in our series uh, collection. So first is going to be the name of the series. 
so first we need to specify the type of it so the type of the name is going to be string also uh, we can specify whether this particular property that is name is mandatory or not it's advisable to keep at least one or two variables as mandatory so i will write this required as true also i do not want any duplicate uh, tv series name in my collection so i will set this unique property as true as well if you want to explore more properties that are there in this mongoose.schema, uh, I would drop the link of the mongoose documentation in the description down below. You can refer to that. Now, the second property that is going, it is going to have is the description. And again, its type is going to be string. I will not make it mandatory. Then we are going to have the rating. And its type is going to be, say, number. And similarly, we are going to have this called as year of release. And I will keep its type as number again. And there is one more property that I'm going to specify here, which is called as timestamps. And I will set it to true. What it means is whenever we'll create a, a document or a record in our collection, it's also going to automatically enter the details related to the timestamp like when it is created so that's why i've created this and after this we need to create the model i will first call it as series and i will call this mongoose dot model inside it we need to pass in two major parameters one is the name of the model and the other is the schema which is going to be this series schema now after this we simply need to export it so i will write module dot exports so we are just exporting the series as we have already used this series schema into this constructor and i will save this and here what i am going to do in our server.js file we are going to import this so i will write series equal require and it is saved in our models and the name is series model now, before uh, saving this, since we are using Nodemon, it will automatically, like the server will automatically get started after seeing any changes. So before hitting save, I will show you something. So if we go back to our MongoDB Atlas and click on this database, yeah. So here, if we click on this browse collections, you can see that we do not have any collection as of now. But as we have seen in our process that when we will create a model it will automatically create a collection as well so once we hit save we would be able to see a collection called a series in our mongodb atlas as well so let me click on save and we can see that our server restarted mongodb connected server started on port 8000 let's go here and click on refresh so yeah, we can see that a collection, a new collection got created with the name series. As of now, it is empty as we haven't inserted any document or any record within the series uh, collection, but it has got created. Okay, so we are done up to step three. So you have uh, now learned how to set up MongoDB, how to establish a connection, how to create a schema and then create a model and a collection. So now for creating the document, we'll be doing that in our next video, wherein not just creation, you will also learn how to perform other operations as well, like read, update and delete. So we'll be building uh, RESTful CRUD APIs in our next video and we'll test them using Postman. That's all for this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future.